hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be filming this look right here um it's giving me like kim possible vibes and now i have her song stuck in my head i'm like kim possible except for i'm her enemy you know the one that always wears like the dark gray and has black hair So if you guys want to see how I got this look, um, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get a little bit better with my content and trying to get outside the box. So if you guys have any suggestions, make sure to let me know. And I hope you guys really do enjoy this look. I actually really do like this. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching and let's get into it. So, anyways, let's jump into this look that you're dying to ski. Um, I kind of want to do like this green, like halo eye thing. I'm not really sure yet. I'm just gonna play around with the colors and see where it leads us. But I went ahead and used the Stila concealer on my eyelids, and then I actually went ahead and set it with the um, Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is Dulce de Leche, and I actually used this shade, and I just went ahead and set my eyelids. Normally, I haven't been setting my eyelids just because of a I don't know, I just haven't been. But we're going to set it and see how well this turns out. So today we're gonna to be using a couple of different palettes. We're gonna take the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And then I'm also going to be incorporating the Morphe, the Jaclyn Hill palette. We're gonna use about, what, probably two shades from this palette. So we're not really technically using it, but we're using it, you know what I mean? So we're gonna jump in to start out with the take me back to brazil palette from bh cosmetics and let's see hopefully this turns out good my dog's gonna freak out because the mirror in the palette like she's like staring at me like dead on staring at me and then i got like these little pimples and i don't know why but it's whatever so hope there she goes I think to start out the look, I'm gonna start it with this green right here. This is what it looks like. And I'm actually gonna use this as a transition shade. And let's see how that looks. Hopefully it turns out okay. So I'm just gonna be using a fluffy brush. So we'll probably just use my go-to wet and wild brush. And we're gonna take that shade right there. And I'm gonna use the mirror in the palette. And we're just gonna, oh, that's, that's pigmented as as it could be oh my god what the heck do you guys see that all right we're just gonna use <laughs> this is really pigmented oh my god i'm just gonna use that and trim my face and we're just gonna blend this in to the crease that way we have a nice gradient see oh my god so I think I accidentally took this color up a little bit too far, but we will fix it. I hope. I think I'm actually just going to go in to this shade just to deepen it, deepen it up a little bit. And this is just a little bit more of like, more of a green. The other one is more of like a yellow green, if that makes any sense. So we're just gonna use that shade on the same brush. And we're gonna dip into that and just Go right over the other green. Yeah, that's beautiful. Why do I feel that these shades actually look more pigmented when I set my eyelid? What the heck? But it's okay. It's okay. I'm living for the green. Um living for this. I'm just going to be packing that a little bit closer so we're not going completely over the other two green shades but we're just kind of blend that into the crease that way there is a nice gradient effect and it's not going to look super harsh. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep blending this out. Why is this giving me like Kim Possible vibes? Like you know the the one the girl on there that is green. She's green. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? So I'm just gonna be taking that green and just going underneath. It's smoking this baby out. 
Alright you guys, so I went ahead and did this eye and so far I'm actually really liking the way it looks. I think the colors are really nice and they're very vibrant. And I actually prefer setting my eyelid with the um, Wet n Wild palette because I feel like the colors are showing up way better. They're blending a little bit better and they look a little bit more vibrant because I felt like in my Pride video, I would have, it was taking me forever to build up the colors and this one it's like they're just like going on like mm, mm, mm. so maybe that's the key to this palette but yeah so now we're going to be going into the jaclyn hill palette by morphe this palette is so good and she came out with the vault collection and i'm like i need money so we're just going to be going into this shade right here this is one two three four four from the blue and let me swatch this. This is actually just a really dark green. And it's so pretty. And I'm just gonna be taking this on the Ulta Beauty um, little crease brush. And keep in mind that we are going to be doing a halo eye. So I'm going to start smudging this and working this into the other greens. So we're just gonna start creating that Halo eye, and we're just going to be blending. And then I'm just going to be building this up, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it. look at that and then you can go ahead and take whatever's left over on the brush and just kind of go halfway in so not to where your pupil is but like a little bit for that so like probably like one-third one-third of the way in just so it has a nice gradient and that way it's a well put together look and it's not just like pew. so I went ahead and finish this eye so we're actually gonna go back into the BH cosmetics palette that's not the palette that's the cover and we're just gonna be going in with the royal and was it nickel nickel nickelage land nickel lane lane nickel I don't even know don't start and we're just gonna go ahead and just uh we'll see let's go in with this green right here this I think this is the first green we use and we're just gonna go ahead and blend the edges out that way it's not so harsh and that it has a nice blend all right so now that we've kind of have this all blended out a little bit we're gonna go ahead and take whatever concealer you want I'm gonna try the the Stila um, concealer in this one and this is in the shade medium it's really nice and creamy so I'm actually just going to take the mirror in the palette and go ahead and do that. So we're going to need a little bit more of a nicer transition just from this darker shade and then where you can see the concealer is starting to blend in with that darker shade to that stark, oops I just threw my brush, nude color. So we're going to go ahead and go into this bright green and I'm just using a Luxie 215 small to angled brush and we're actually just going to start feathering this, feathering that green shade right into that other the darker green shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And this is just gonna be a really nice touch of green. It's gonna give it a nice gradient effect and help add all those colors and incorporate all of them together. Ugh, go into this green right here. And we're just gonna kind of blend those two greens and together we're going to brighten this up a little bit 
which is just gonna help that transition. And you can go ahead and take your finger and blend it a little bit. And then just in case any of that um, shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette got a little bit brushed away from adding the BH Cosmetics um, shadows, you're just gonna go wanna go back into that green, that darker green right here. Just take a little bit. You can go ahead and just dab a little bit on the back of your hand just so it doesn't come off as harsh on your eye. And you're just gonna go right where that crease is and you're just gonna wanna define it just a little bit. And it just helps the look way, like just, it, it just helps give you a little bit of dimension in the eye look. And it just gives it a little bit more of an oomph. Like just oof, oof. In the Jaclyn Hill palette, we're actually gonna take this shade right here. This is a beautiful green color. Let me go ahead and swatch that on my hand. My hand is so dirty. This is what it looks like. It's actually a really beautiful um, green silvery color and I think it's gonna look really good with this um, look so I'm just gonna go ahead and actually take a little bit on my finger and we're just gonna tap it on the eyelid and go ahead and use your finger just to blend it in with the other shades like that All right, and then go back in with your little angled brush. So I was just using the Luxie um, little small angled brush and you're gonna go back into the dark green and then tap a little bit on the back of your hand just so it's not so harsh. And you're just gonna wanna go ahead and define that crease even more, like even more, 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 more. I want more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh -hoo! All right, guys, so I hope that you guys can't hear that it's raining outside because it's literally pouring right now. So ignore it if you do hear it. But um, this is the end of today's video. I really hope you, that you guys enjoy today's look. Um, I really had a lot of fun creating this, and hopefully you guys like it too. If you guys have any recommendations, please leave it in the comment section because I would love to hear what you guys have, like any suggestions. So make sure to like and subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Remember, you guys are beautiful. Don't forget it. And I will see you guys in my next video.